How would it affect the planet and which countries would be the most hindered? Let's find out. Now before we dive into the details, let's travel back nearly 6 million years to experience the Messinian Salinity Crisis. This crisis nearly spelled the end of the Mediterranean Sea, when tectonic movements caused the Strait of Gibraltar to close, cutting off the Mediterranean from the Atlantic. Over time, evaporation outpaced the inflow of water, causing up to 80% of the sea to dry up. This is what Europe looked like during that time. However, thanks to the Zanklian Flood, tectonic activity reversed the blockage, allowing the Atlantic to flow back into the Mediterranean, essentially saving its life. But what if theoretically an event like the Messinian Salinity Crisis were to occur again, but this time see 100% of the sea disappear? Well, this is how the region might look. This is of course just one hypothetical scenario and just for fun. So there have now been some astronomical changes to many countries that previously had coast along the Med. Some countries are happier than others with these changes. Now one standout country that is completely unrecognisable from how it currently looks is Italy. Its famous boot shaped country is now just a big old blob in the middle of this newly formed region. A country which used to have a significant presence in the sea has now became much larger but massively landlocked. It used to have the highest exclusive economic zone claim out of all 23 countries, with some 542,000 kilometers squared due to it having so much coastline and large islands within the sea. But in this new world, it has zero kilometers squared. Although the country has grown substantially in size, its lack of ocean access would likely hugely hinder its economy. Luckily, it only needs to travel through one fellow Schengen country to reach the Atlantic. Now, even though Portugal has Mediterranean vibes to it, it's not classed as a Mediterranean country, as quite simply, it doesn't have any coastline along the Med. The country only has coastline along the Atlantic, meaning in this new world, it wouldn't physically change whatsoever. But as other countries like say Italy have now became landlocked, they may depend on countries like Portugal, Spain, France or even Morocco to use their ports to ship into the Atlantic, giving some economic boost to the Iberian countries. 